In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to install Mr. Crayfish Gun Mod for Minecraft 1.19. And not only how to install Mr. Crayfish Gun Mod, but also how to fix any issues you might have along the way. I've been hearing that people have been getting trouble with the Java, with the Forge installation, with the mods folder. Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix any issues and how to get these mods working. Let's get started. And just before we get started on the step-by-step -step guide on how to install Mr. Crayfish Gun Mod, let me tell you real quick about Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will let you get a Minecraft server online, meaning that you won't need to be on your computer 24 7 to have the server running it could be a java or a bedrock server and the great thing about it is that they have 25 percent off right now if you click on the first link in the description to sign up with apex hosting you will get 25 percent off your first server and besides all the advantages that they have something that i really like is that you could access a server console through your phone i run my own server with apex hosting and you could access the console server through the phone how amazing is that just remember 25 percent off right now in the first link in the description and let's get started with the tutorial okay so step number one is obviously installing the gun mod we need to keep in mind that we are downloading this gun mod for minecraft forge 1.19 and that means two things first we need to have forge 1.19 installed and second we need to have the newest version of java running in our computer but don't worry because i'm going to teach you how to do all of that in here first thing you want to do download the gun mod go ahead and click on the second link in the description it's going to be labeled something as download gun mod which is going to bring you to our written guide the main thing here though is to scroll down and click on download gun mod that is going to redirect you to the download website from curseforge in here don't get lost just scroll down a little bit and then find 1.19 as you can see 1.19 is the most recent version here and it's also down here in the right go ahead and click download file that is going to redirect you to this page where in five seconds the download will start automatically just wait five seconds in my case it's going to ask me where i want to save this file i'm just going to go ahead and click save and then i'm going to drop it into the desktop but in your case it's probably going to download the file automatically without asking you anyways once you have the file go ahead and drop it into your desktop i'm going to go ahead and change the name of it i'm going to name it gone mod just so you guys don't get confused as you can see like that gone mod so you guys don't get confused right you don't have to change the name that is just my preference second thing that you need to know is that to run the gun mod from mr crayfish you need to have framework framework is just a mod loader that will allow the mr crayfish gun mod to run successfully so what we need to do is click on that third link in the description which will bring you to our written guide in here the main thing though is to click download framework that is going to redirect you to the download website of framework as you can see it's the same website it's curseforge in here just to scroll down a little bit until you find 1.19 as you can see we have 1.19 right there or also here on the bottom right just like with mr Mr. Crayfish Gun Mod. Go ahead and click download file. That is going to redirect you over here. And in five seconds, the download will start immediately. In my case, it's going to ask me. It's the same thing as previously. Just go ahead and allow it download the file and drop it into your desktop if you need to if that makes you feel safer that's the way i do it so i don't lose track of the files anyways now we have the gun mod now we have the framework if you already have forge 1.19 installed go ahead and drag these two files into your mods folder and that's it you can launch forge 1.19 up and play with the gun mod but i'm assuming that most of you don't have it installed so i'm going to teach you how to install forge real quick to install forge click on that fourth link in the description which is going to bring you to our reading guide on how to install forge the main thing in here though is to scroll down a little bit until you find the download button go ahead and click on the download button which is then going to redirect you to the download website for forge in here we're going to click installer that is going to start the download immediately for the newest version of forge just make sure that before you click installer you make sure that you're downloading 1.19 okay i did see 1.19 there so i click installer that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds you're going to click skip here on the top right and then that is going to start the download okay i'm going to go ahead and save it in my downloads but then i'm going to drag it into my desktop just remember whenever you go here to the download website for forge just make sure that you download it in 1.19 as you can see 1.19 is selected and that's it follow the process the same way we just did and the file will download as you can see here we now have the file i have forge 1.19 in my desktop anyways we now have forge 1.19 installer so we're pretty much ready to install forge 1.19 right well actually you need java 18th any minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have the newest java out there which is java 18 in order to run okay i've gotten way too many comments of people saying i get this java error about the java runtime and even though i already made a video on how to fix that i'm going to put this in every tutorial just to make sure that you guys don't mess up while doing this independently right so how do we update java if you already have java updated go ahead and check the timeline and skip this part but if you don't it's a really simple process click on the fifth link in the description which will bring you to our guide on how to install java i think main thing in here is to click download java here that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to scroll down until you see java i think and then until you find windows go ahead and click on windows select x64 installer and then click on this blue line in here which is going to start the download immediately obviously it's going to ask 
asking me where I want to save it. I'm going to save it into my downloads and then I'm going to drop it into my desktop just the same way I've been doing previously. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it into the desktop. Now that we have four jar files, we're pretty much ready to start. And before you start installing Java things, you need to make sure what Java version you have. So go ahead and click type here to search and type auto remove programs. Go ahead and open auto remove programs app. And in here, you're going to type in search this list. You're going to type Java. As you can see, we have Java 18 installed right now, but many of you won't have Java 18. So what you need to do is get rid of any older version of Java that you have in order to install the newest one. So I'm going to go ahead and install this Java. As you can see, now I don't have any Java version. Now we could install Java with no issues. So once you have no Java's in your computer, go ahead and double click on JDK 18, which is going to start the installation for Java 18. Go ahead and double click on it. Double clicking JDK 18 will prompt you with an administrator sign. Go ahead and allow this app to run. And then that is going to bring up the installer in here. You're just going to click next and then next. I have to let you know, once you install Java 18, there's a chance you still don't see these cops in here or that when you try to launch them, you get some issues. That is because you need to run a jar fix. If you don't know how to run a jar fix, running a jar fix is really simple. We have a link in the description. You just click on that link. You scroll down in here, download jar fix, run the jar fix. And that's it. It's just a double click. And that is going to update your jar files in your computer. It's pretty simple. And I have done a lot of videos on that. Anyways, that is just for those of you that might not still see these cops, which most of you won't have that problem. Anyways, once we install Java 18, we're going to see this window. Go ahead and click close. And now you could even get rid of the installer. The next step, obviously, is to install Forge 1.19. Before you install Forge 1.19, you need to make sure you have run Minecraft 1.19 vanilla at least once in your computer. So just open your Minecraft launcher, launch Minecraft 1.19. Once the game has opened, wait for it to be on the main menu, close the game, and now you're ready to start installing Forge. Make sure that you close out from the game and from the Minecraft launcher, because if not, the installation might mess up. Once you have done that, go ahead and double click on Forge. That is going to open the installer app, as you can see right here. And we're going to select install client, and then we're going to click OK. Do not change anything else. Just click OK. Installing Forge is really simple as well. It shouldn't take more than 15 or 20 seconds. So just wait for this to finish installing, and then we'll proceed with the tutorial. As you can see, Forge has finished installing, and this is what it looks like. It says successfully install client for Forge. Go ahead and click on OK. Now we could delete the installer for Forge 1.19, and we could even delete this file that comes up when you install Forge 1.19. The next step is to go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. I'm going to go ahead and open my Minecraft launcher, and let's wait for that to load. As you you can see right here, I have my Minecraft launcher. If you install Forge properly, when the Minecraft launcher opens, you're going to have Forge 1.19 selected here in the bottom left. If you don't see Forge in the bottom left by any reason, just click here on installations and make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected, Forge 1.19 won't show or any other version of Minecraft that you have modded. Anyways, if that doesn't work, just click here on new installation and make sure that you select Forge 1.19. As you can see, release 1.19 Forge. You can name this whatever you want and then you click create here on the bottom right. And that is another way of getting Forge working. Anyways, once we have Forge working, go ahead and select installations again and hover over the Forge 1.19 instance that we have created and click on this folder that appears here on the right. Once that folder opens, you can minimize your Minecraft launcher for now. You're going to look for a folder called MODS mods. As you can see, I have it right here, the mods folder, but let's say that that folder wasn't there. As you can see, I deleted mine. What do you do if you don't find the mods folder when you open this big folder? Simply just right click, create a new folder and type MODS, name that folder mods. And as you can see, now we have an empty mod folder where we're going to drop both of our files, the gun mod and the framework. Go ahead and drop those files in there. Now you could close this folder and go ahead and launch Minecraft Forge to see if the mod is working. I'm going to click on the mod button. And as you can see, framework and Mr. Crayfish gun mod has loaded successfully. I'm going to go ahead and launch a world. As you can see, I'm giving myself creative just so I could access the creative menu. Let's go ahead and access this menu. I don't know where the guns are at. I'm just going to keep scrolling. There we go. They're right at the end. So. Oh, oh my god, look at this. We have an assault rifle. Let's put that on. Oh my god, look at that. As you can see, <laughs> the mods are working, and that is pretty much how to get the mods working and how to get the gun mod working in Minecraft 1.19. I hope this tutorial was useful. If I help you to install the mod, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.